Donald Trump is diverting hurricane relief funds and funds for the military for his border wall. Uh, this was a big story that broke yesterday, and uh, we have some more details today on how this is supposed to go down. According to uh, the NBC News reporting on this, uh, the Trump administration is pulling 271 million in funding from the Department of Homeland Security, including the Federal Emergency Management Agency's Disaster Relief Fund, that's FEMA, to pay for uh, immigration detention space and temporary hearing locations for asylum seekers who have been forced to wait in Mexico. Before I give you some more details, I just want to note that this money is actually separate from the $4.6 billion Nancy Pelosi willy nilly gave Trump and then turned around and criticized the squad for being against. Let me continue. ICE would gain $155 million, all from FEMA's disaster relief fund. The Department of Homeland Security will lose $116 million previously allocated for Coast Guard operations, aviation security, and other components in order to fund nearly 6,800 more beds for immigrant detainees. Also, real quick, combined with existing space, the funding would allow ICE to detain nearly 50,000 immigrants at one time. And remember, this is the logical and natural next step after the Trump administration essentially said that they would no longer follow through with the Flores settlement and allow for migrant children to be held in and imprisoned indefinitely. Okay, this is of course as another huge hurricane bears down on Puerto Rico. Uh, we're gonna get to Trump's comments on that in a second. But first, I wanna go to a hilarious quote from one of his uh, spokespeople, Hogan Gidley. Uh, he said, the Democrats know that this money isn't being diverted from anything that could be used for recovery efforts or preparedness efforts. Now, let me reiterate where they took it from. FEMA's Disaster Relief Fund. Yeah, okay, so they definitely took it from uh, funds that are meant to help uh, victims of hurricanes, and it would definitely affect the things that Hogan Gidley just said that it would not affect. Because he works for a pathological liar who sends him out to lie every single day, and that's what Gidley does. It's a preposterous claim, but they live in an Orwellian world, so they don't care. They could say the exact opposite of the truth and not lose any sleep over it. So understand that Congress voted to allocate this funding to these various organizations or, or government organizations. And then the Trump administration has decided to take that funding and place it wherever they'd like to do, or wherever they'd like to place it. And at the same time, you know, there is absolutely no conversation happening with Congress. I mean, we're supposed to live in a, a democracy, right? Where there, there's a system of checks and balances, and he's just completely bypassing that because why wouldn't he? He's an authoritarian, and we have Democrats in Congress who refuse to do anything about it. Yeah. I mean, Nancy Pelosi isn't doing anything about yeah, it. Yeah. What's the point of having Democrats control the House if they're gonna sit back and let Donald Trump just take money away from FEMA, which is desperately needed right now, that hurricane's gonna hit Florida. I'm very curious to see what Trump has to say about that. Well, if it hits his voters or white people, he might be slightly interested. Okay, we're gonna get to Puerto Rico, like I said, in a second. But I wanna double down on what Anna's saying. You. Previously in America, you could not just take money that was assigned by Congress in law that the president signed into law, that's how things work, and just say, no, I'm just gonna take it and use it for something else. That's not what happens in our form of government. Now, these are the same Republicans who pretended to care when Obama was doing executive orders. They're like, oh my God, executive orders are unacceptable. Now, Trump has crushed Obama's record on executive orders. He's done far more at this point than Obama had ever done. And now he's going around saying, well, I don't care what Congress appropriated the money for. I'm just gonna take it from there and we we'll use it somewhere else. Now, on top of the crimes that he has committed very, very, very clearly, this is a clear violation of the Constitution. So it's not one of those things that's arguable. You can't, well, okay, then Republicans, really, we have this rule now? Okay, what if we have a progressive president? Can he just say, you know what, I don't like the Pentagon's budget. I'm gonna move it all towards the Green New Deal. All right, maybe not all of it, I'm gonna move half of it. I'm gonna move $350 billion over to the Green New Deal. Do we have a deal? Is that the new rule? I can live with that rule, you want that rule? 
No, all of a sudden you're gonna start crying and go, oh no, 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 it's unconstitutional. Well, this is unconstitutional. God damn it, Nancy Pelosi and Chuck Schumer, are you ever going to do anything? And so they're like, nope, nope. Uh, Schumer today, as in their usual uh, way, put out a strongly worded statement saying, "Oh, this is unacceptable and a breach of our uh, his constitutional duties. Wow, except it's not unacceptable because you just accepted it. And you know what you do if I if they had strong progressives in charge, but you are moving the money that we appropriated in a legal way and you're doing it in an unconstitutional way. Uh, we're starting impeachment proceedings this afternoon. I'm not going to let you destroy the Constitution and say that the president can move any money he likes despite what Congress said. That is not how our government works. And if you're an idiot, ignoramus, who doesn't know the Constitution, we'll read it to you in your impeachment proceedings. TYT.com slash impeach, okay? But it doesn't matter. I mean, look, that's a petition I love and I want to work, but it's not gonna work because Nancy Pelosi is the greatest protector of Donald Trump in the country. Exactly. That's just a fact. Yep, you're right. I want to read a quick quote also from Senator John Tester. He's a Democratic senator. And he says, quote, Congress has already deliberated DHS's request and appropriated the highest ever funding for border security and immigration enforcement, which passed on a bipartisan basis and was signed by President Trump. So he's trying to argue, look, we've given you the funding that you asked for. Why are you doing this? This is wrong. And he's very much concerned about Hurricane Dorian and the damage it's gonna do to Puerto Rico and Florida. Well, mistake number one, was playing this bipartisan game and giving Trump exactly what he wants. Don't give him anything. Yeah. Period. So, Why yeah, are they anyway, playing games? I, I don't, with him? I just, hey, can Democrats, if you're not gonna do anything, why don't you shut your mouth, okay? So if you're gonna just sit there and complain, like, oh, I can't believe Trump's doing this, you control the House where impeachment begins. So spare me your crocodile tears while you let him run roughshod over the country. So now let's go to Puerto Rico. Hogan Gidley, that jokester, says that Trump has, quote, moved heaven and earth trying to help Puerto Rico. All right, I'm gonna give you Trump's tweet in a second. Um, But Trump himself has also said, and by the way, I'm the best thing that's ever happened to Puerto Rico. I mean, who says that? What kind of, I mean, if you had a person like that in your your life, you'd banish him. You wouldn't be like, oh, God damn it, is he, uh, really? He's he's our uncle, the crazy uncle who comes over at Thanksgiving and says, I'm the best thing that ever happened to this family. Who says stupid stuff like that? And after you constantly insult Puerto Rico and then turn around and say the best thing that ever happened. I mean, come on, this guy's a goddamn embarrassment, obviously. Uh, uh, so let's go to the tweet. Trump says, wow, yet another big storm heading to Puerto Rico. Will it ever end? Congress approved $92 billion for Puerto Rico last year, an all time record of its kind for anywhere. Okay, let's break that down. First of all, of course, as always, lying about the $92 billion, invented number, not true. Okay. Let me give you, let me break it down for you. Okay. Um, uh, so The Hill reported that in July, Congress actually allocated uh, roughly $43 billion for Puerto Rico, but the island had received less than $14 billion as of May. Uh, Trump signed a bill in June providing another $1 million billion in assistance. Yeah. So that's it. That's what they've received. The number is nowhere close to what Trump mentioned in that tweet, $92 billion. So, 92 billion, uh, pull it up, throw it in there. Who cares? A pathological liar. Okay, but that's to me the le- less interesting part of the tweet. Yet another big storm heading to Puerto Rico, will it ever end? It sounds like he's blaming Puerto Rico. It, he is blaming what Puerto an, Rico. What an idiot. What an unbelievably stupid person. By the way, there is something to blame. It's called climate change. Because it makes the storms more uh, significant, more severe, and and there's now more of them. And so, if you want the storms to end, the of course hurricanes overall will never end. But if there'll be less of them and they'll be less extreme, you would take action against not Puerto Rico that's getting hit by the storms. You ignoramus! You would take action against climate change. Instead, you sit there going, huh, I don't know. Will these storms ever end? I wonder where they came from. Huh? After you declared it a Chinese hoax. So look, everybody who's ever supported Donald Trump, look, no, that's not fair. If you change your mind and you've seen more information and you didn't follow politics that much, you've now seen him, you go, okay, I've had enough. That's fine. You still support Donald Trump after all this? <laughs> I mean, you're a blithering idiot. You're, it's unbelievable how stupid his followers are. Oh yeah, the hurricane, it must be Puerto Rico's fault. <laughs> what is it ever gonna end with 
Puerto Rico and getting hit by hurricanes. You know what, why don't we ask the same question when a hurricane hits Texas or Florida or one of the red states where the majority of his voters reside. Let's yeah. ask that same question and see how they feel about it. Uh, what's going on with Oklahoma? Why all the tornadoes? Goddamn Oklahoma, well, why won't they stop the tornadoes? I mean, come on, man, we're having conversations with the dumbest people on the planet. And one of them is the President of the United States. And by the way, again, if you're a Republican, you go, oh, but he won, you're right. That's why we're so pissed at the establishment Democrats who are the biggest idiots and losers of all. Lost to this buffoon, lost to this buffoon. And now say, oh no, we're so smart, you should pick Biden. And then turn around and go, well, resistance. And then they won't even resist them one inch. The establishment Democrats are so pathetic that they make Donald Trump look smart. The TYT Plus app is now available on iOS and Android. Download to get more TYT content at tyt.com slash app.